Today, we have Robert Denton Bryant. He co-authored the book, Slay the Dragon, Writing Great Video Games, and he's gonna tell us how you can get involved in the video game industry. Now, let's roll tape. This episode brought to you by Spoof Dance Film Festival. Make parody commercials and bring the funny. Thanks for joining me, Robert. And uh, tell us, how can somebody get involved in creating video games? Well, um, if you're a writer, uh, the very first thing you have to do is, if you, if you haven't grown up playing video games, that's okay. But you have to play video games. You can't meaningfully create without understanding the genre uh, or understanding the medium. It's not a medium, it's a genre. Uh, wait, no, I said that in reverse. It's not a genre, it's a medium. Okay, there we go. And what that means is that you've got to start playing things. Now, you don't have to play every video game. You're going to try some things and you're not going to like it. But the things that you like, play a lot of those. Get conversant in what the mechanics are. What is fun about that game? What sort of worlds, what sort of characters, what sort of stories they tell in the, sort of organically in that genre, whatever it is. Uh, not every game is head-to-head -head shooting online. Uh, there's a lot of single-player story-driven games that are very immersive experiences, and there's a lot of emotionally impactful games. There's two right now on Steam that... Uh, 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 are really great from a story standpoint. One is called That Dragon Cancer, and it's uh, uh, about a parent, uh, uh, a set of parents whose daughter is afflicted with cancer. And the other is called Firewatch. And believe it or not, it's about being a uh, park ranger uh, in a tower watching for uh, for fires in a national forest and yet it's it's much more interesting than, than how i'm pitching it um you as a writer your entry level into the games uh, business is either you can do it the way i did it through game testing but you need to be conversant in games in order to get hired as a game tester and think analytically and be able to write books um is the, the entry level position is what we call a uh, content designer or quest writer. Um, and there's a lot of positions like that that come up because big, big RPGs need a lot of content, but they need play and they need writers who know the genre, who know the, the, the games, uh, who know how to write art for RPGs or MMO RPGs, which are big world shared world games like World of Warcraft. So you need to do your homework. The other thing you need to do is be comfortable with cr creating in an interactive environment. And in the book, um, one of the final chapters is how you can get started at home from scratch without getting a job first just to get you sort of get your hands dirty with creating interactivity. And so we go through a list of tools, mo most all of which have a free version for you to try. Um, and the easiest one of them is called Scratch. And Scratch was developed at MIT for little kids. And you are able, even as an adult, to start uh, building with, with a very, very simple, um, uh, uh, very, very simple interface, just sort of like uh, clicking and, and connecting things in a very, very intuitive, very simple, visually simple way, and you can start creating interactivity right there. Um, <clears throat> if you're a writer, chances are you've, you've uh, wondered about interactive fiction, right? And, and the classic example of that is those great 80s paperbacks, Choose Your Own Adventures, right? right? Okay, remember those? Yes. And there's a great tool. It's online. Everything's based in a browser. It's called Inkle Writer. And that allows you to start writing an interactive story like that all in your browser. It saves to the cloud. Once you're done, you can share it with a discrete link to friends to read and 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 interact with and have them tell you about their experience. So, so Inkle Writer, I'm a big fan of. And what I like to do with my writing students is 
for them to not just write an interactive story from scratch, but it's e even more meaningful. It really like expands your mind about what interactivity is about. To take a, a short story that they have already written, something from their shelf, something from their files, bring that in an interact, uh, into Inkle Writer and start making choices, start writing choices for the reader to make. So take something you've done and how do you make it interactive and yet still kind of feel like the story that you wrote originally. That's a wonderful exercise. It's very easy to do for free using Inkle Writer. How old uh, would someone have to be to get started? Like, uh, you know, a lot of kids play video games. Maybe some of these younger kids are thinking about getting into this. Uh, can they do that, or is there an age? I really don't know. I'm just curious. Well, I mean, it's, it, it, as far as getting a job, you know, you need to have a Social Security number and labor law, right. you know, and, and parental permission and like that. But um, as as far as... You know, if if you're a, a teenager and you have a computer, you probably know some of these tools like Twine, which mm -hmm. allows you to do an interactive story and take it to the next level and bring some media into it and bring some uh, bring some uh, actual gameplay into it. Um, so you can start to create anything. You know, when uh, if you can operate a computer, it's getting paid for it and a job that you kind of have to be job age, right? But you hear stories all the time of 13, 14 year olds taking some of the tools I'm gonna mention in a, in a second and creating an app and uploading that and to Google Play and if they're very lucky, making some money off of that, right? So you can be entrepreneurial if you're younger, but if you wanna get paid, if you wanna go to an office and work at a job, um, that's, that's different. You know, you kind of need to be 16, 17 high school age. Um, uh, the, the final sort of way to, to, if you're really serious about getting, uh, understanding, um, uh, uh, game creation is there's two free to try tools available on the web. They're both Mac uh, for Mac OS or windows. Uh, one is called Game Maker, and the other is called Game Salad Creator, which is the free version of Game Salad. And what I like about both of those is they're both designed for non-programmers to create interactivity. So the, the tools I told you about before was you know designed to get you thinking about interactivity as a writer in a medium you're comfortable with, which is text mostly, right? With Game Maker and Game Salad, you start creating visually interactive little video games. And they both have very robust tutorials that take you through and, and kind of show you what the possibilities are with these very powerful tools, creating interactivity, assigning behavior to on-screen agents without you having to be a programmer. You don't have, both of these packages tell you that you don't need to line, write a single line of code in order to create something and finish it off as an app and publish it, although you have to start paying them some money for, for if, if you want to do that and monetize it. It's all very reasonable. So um, I'm a big fan of both Game Maker and Game Salad. Try them both. You're going to like one better than the other and go for it. Awesome. Great advice. Um, talk about your book real quick here. Also, uh, where can folks get it? Uh, Slay the Dragon, Writing Great Video Games is available on uh, all uh, online retailers. Um, also at major uh, bookstores near you. And also available directly from the publisher website, mwp.com. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. You can get in touch with Keith and me through the book's Twitter account, which is at Game Writing Book. Who knows? Maybe there's a, a gamer out there who is aspiring to uh, uh, create a new game. I think this book is uh, its something different. There's nothing out there like it. Uh, is there? No, no. What the, the whole point of us writing the book is we wanted to reach writers who are interested in interactive. We want writers to take everything they know about storytelling and characters and emotions and all the world building and get comfortable with 
thinking about bringing those skills into the interactive realm. There's a lot of books out there that teach story and character to programmers. We wanted to view the problem through the other end of the, of the telescope. And it's been working really well. We've had a really, really enthusiastic response from a lot of writers and also engineers who are like, wow, I never thought about it this way. So, um, you know, I hope, I hope your uh, audience of writers will give it a chance. All right. Thank you very much for joining me today, Robert. Hey, it was my pleasure. Thanks a lot, Forrest.